Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about this, the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3 by Hourglass. As you can see, there are six shades in here. We've got two blushes, a bronzer, two finishing powders, and then also a highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and compare this to the palettes in the past and then go ahead and show you applications. So if you'd like to see the application piece, please just fast forward to the timestamp right here and you can see that. I'm gonna get into the comparison though between the previous versions of this and the new one. So we have kind of a frame of reference for what this looks like. And if you've had any of the ones in the past, I can show you similarities and differences. So I've got three right here. I've got the ambient lighting edit, which had six colors in it as well. And then I also have the ambient lighting edit in surreal light, which has five. And I did do an in-depth review of this last year when it initially came out. And this one, I kind of touched on in a couple other videos, but this is more similar in format to the new one. So there's nothing from the Surreal Light palette that is repeated in the new one this year. However, if you do compare the palette from two years ago with the one from this year, there are three colors that are the same. So here they are side by side. We've got Dim Light, Diffuse Light, and Luminous Bronze Light are the same in both palettes. So the new one has three uh, new colors. They've got Hypnotic Strobe Light and then the blush Surreal Halo and then Pure Effect. So those are the items that are new to this palette if you wanted to give it a try. If you did like this palette from a couple of years ago, you might wanna look into this new one simply because the colors are similar. I mean, there are a few new colors in there, but there's an expiry or a suggested time use on the back of your cosmetics with a little jar on it. And this one says 12 months. So if you haven't seen that before, I'll try and insert a close-up of what that looks like. It'll show you how long your makeup lasts before you should replace it. Yeah, and most of the Hourglass products I'm looking at right now have 12 months. So if you have any Hourglass products, I would look at that in terms of the powders. We're just gonna go ahead and get into this. I'll try on all six colors for you and then give you my final thoughts at the end. So if you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the Hourglass brush and dust it in the yellowish colored powder. It's really subtle and I don't even know if it's something you can see on camera, but I can definitely see it in real life. So it just brightens up that eye area. Next, I'm going to kind of clean this brush off and go next into this one right here and that will go all over my face. So I've already set my makeup with a translucent powder and this is just on top of that. You can see half of it with the ambient lighting powder and then half without. So there it is with, without. So I do prefer the radiant light to this on an everyday. If you have more of a mocha coloring, I think that it would be pretty on you, but it's definitely pulling that pinkish tone. Not my go-to at this time because of its color, but um, it just gives you an idea of kind of how it looks. Just a really subtle reflective quality. It's not sparkly or anything like that. I've never found it to be sparkly, but yeah, I'm just not used to using this color all over my face. Let's go ahead in with the bronzer. I think that gives a lot of structure to your face. I'm going to take the NARS Yachio brush. These little squares are very small for a standard brush. So I'm gonna take this, I like how it tapers. So it allows me to grab the color without getting into any of the other shades. This is much more pinky toned than what I typically use, which is radiant bronze light. And this one is luminous bronze light. And it's taking a lot more time to add enough layer so it's visible. So it's definitely not as intense as I would prefer. Oh, it's taking quite a bit of time to build this up. And if you look at the one that I got, these are all going to look different because of the way that the product is created. But I have a lot of the darker shade in there, but it's still, still not showing up on my skin tone. This is taking some work. And I like adding bronzer up here. My forehead 
is tall enough that I can do that, it makes just makes it look like I have a tan. I mean, I already have a tan, but it makes it look like I have some dimension to my tan. Oh, see, look, I got into that blush a little bit. Just be careful. Okay, it's been about, I wanna say at least four minutes I've been working on this bronzer. <laughs> so if you like subtle buildup on your bronzer, then this would be a good one. I prefer a little bit more intensity right off the bat. We're gonna go in with the blush right here, this lighter color, and that one is, what are you? Pure Effect. I just have a Tarte blush brush. I think this is from the Holiday Collection, something with blushes. So I just like to tap it on because when I'm not sure how much product I'll get, it's a little bit more controlled that way. So far, this is really pretty. You can see it has some reflective qualities in there, right here. It does look like it has some shimmer to it. There it is. So if you like a little shimmer, you've got it there. I'm going to go in with the next blush color. This is in Surreal Halo. It's this darker, almost a purpley color. And I've got a Ray Morris brush here. Again, it's tapered, so it gets in there really nicely. I just have a little bit on the end. I'm going to add it to the apples of my cheeks. I prefer warmer colors in blush, but this one is pretty. So you can see that it gives a little bit more interest to the blush instead of just that one color. Although I have to say it is interesting already with a little bit of shimmer in there. You can see it just intensifies it. Last, I'm going to add the highlighter and I've been looking at the highlighter. It's stuck right in the middle there and look at my brush, it's gigantic. So I'm going to just smush it in here. So I think the trick with a palette like this where they're so close together is to get the right brushes to get in there so you don't pick up anything else you don't intend to. And this one looks like it can be subtle or intense. I mean, it's definitely more on the subtle side, which I like about highlighters from Hourglass. They're not too gritty or too much. You can definitely build it up. And now that I have all six colors on my face, I do have some thoughts about everything in here. Uh, the first color I used under my eyes, I probably needed to replace that anyway. I believe it is Diffused Light. And then for the second color that I applied, it was Dim Light. I don't really prefer that color on my skin tone. I think it looks great on other people. I do prefer Radiant Light to this one. It's a much more warm tone. I went in with the bronzer, which again, it, this one is Luminous Bronze Light. It pulls a little bit pink on me. So this blush right here is really beautiful. I would definitely use this. And this blush right here is probably not something I would choose because I don't typically go for those colors. I go for more corally, uh, a brighter blush. And this is something I would definitely buy on its own. And this highlight right here I think is really pretty although I do have other highlights. So for someone like me where I have products that I love by Hourglass already, like this bronzer, and then I do love this highlighter, Euphoric Strobe Light, and I have a blush that I really love from them and another finishing powder that I really love. So as for all the colors in here, I would pick this blush up if it were single, and then this uh, is a great powder as well, but the other colors are not something I would pick as singles. I would love to see something where I would pick them all if they were singles and they were in one place. So if this was say Radiant Bronze Light, I would love that. If it was the finishing powder that I prefer and then uh, this blush if it were switched out. I mean essentially if it were different ones. <laughs> essentially there are only really two in there that I would pick out normally. So of course I purchased this because I love Hourglass and I have the other two, so I do want to compare them for you. If you've never tried Hourglass products, I think that these palettes are a great value because there are six different things in there you can try. There's finishing powders, there is a highlight, you also have a bronzer and a couple of blushes to try, so if you've never tried them before, I think it's a great way to do that because each individual full-sized item is on its own, not inexpensive. 
If you do have a bunch of Hourglass products you already love and you are similar in coloring to me, this may not be your first choice of things you want to spend your money on, but if you collect them like I do, like I'll hold on to these just for archival purposes and so I can compare things for you in the future. Um, I mean, I'm glad I picked it up, but did I need it? No, I don't need this. There's nothing in here that I think is enough to sway me or persuade me to purchase it if I didn't already have it. I mean, this is pretty, but I, I think I have other things that are comparable to this anyway. So really pretty, I mean, high quality, performs really well, just not colors or shades that I would gravitate towards anyway. I think from here until December, you'll see a lot of things popping up, limited edition things, um, other items that you might want to put your money towards. But if you have a person in your life who loves Hourglass, they would appreciate I mean, if I got this for a gift, I would love it, even though they aren't colors that I would pick just because I love Hourglass. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. And so far, this is, ouch. Now that I have all six colors on my face, I do. This is in <laughs> this dim light, diffuse light. Oh, dim light. Why does this happen to me every time? Yeah, dim light, diffuse light. Okay, I called the first one diffuse light. Okay, the yellowish one. So now that I have this one, oh, what is it? I had this problem last time. Okay, diffuse light, right? Okay.